So, um, the the first thing is clearly we will tr treat in ten years' time. We will treat the five different types of ovarian cancer differently from each other. That is starting to happen, and that will continue to happen. Clear cell carcinoma of the ovary, which is relatively rare, but occurs in younger women and occurs on the background of a disease called endometriosis. 10% of women have endometriosis. It's a disabling, painful condition. And a small percentage of those go on to get um, ovarian cancer that is different from the majority of ovarian cancers. And we're beginning to develop very specific treatments for clear cell. The big drive will be in high grade ovarian cancer. As I said, approximately half of patients will benefit from these drugs called PARP inhibitors, but that means half don't. And there's a massive need to identify treatments for those women. And that's a huge focus of work in my uh, laboratory in the Ovarian Cancer Action mm -hmm. Research Center. Third progress is going to be understanding how we can use immunotherapy, immunological treatments. You will have heard many of you of these new immune type therapies that have revolutionized the treatment of lung cancer and melanoma. Depressingly, they don't work in most cases of ovarian cancer and we still don't really quite know why. Um, we're going to need to develop a new generation of immunological therapies for ovarian cancer. And that's gonna be a big challenge, but I think that's going to be our third advance uh, in the next 10 years. And the fourth advance obviously is understanding why cancer comes back and becomes resistant to chemotherapy. And that's a big focus of the work that um, I've been doing um, at, the, at the research center. Um, so over the last five or six years, we've been using samples from the BritRock1 study to look at the DNA, the genome of high-grade ovarian cancer when it comes back and at the time of diagnosis. And rather to my surprise, they look remarkably similar, which means that what is driving the ovarian cancer to come back is even more complicated than we thought, because there's going to be things beyond just looking at the DNA that will answer why it comes back and becomes resistant to chemotherapy. But th th those are four big advances that I think are realistic within the next 10 years specific treatments for the rarer subtypes like clear cell, um, understanding, uh, developing treatments for women who are not going to benefit from PARP inhibitors when we first meet them, um, understanding immunotherapy in high-grade ovarian cancer in particular, um, and then tr working out what is it that's driving the cancer to come back and become resistant to chemotherapy. All of those by working collaboratively, cooperatively, nationally, internationally, getting centers of excellence to talk to each other. I think those are realistic goals.